Here's a place in Europe. Pretty cool, right? You might recognize it as Spain and not Spain. How did this happen? Well, a long time ago, there was nothing. And then there was something. Hey, look, it's Earth. And look at its giant land thing. Oh, it broke. Hey, would you look at that, since some Neanderthals now live in Iberia. And dying. Uh-oh, here come the homos. Look at those brains. And they're everywhere. Hey, look, we figured out how to use metal, said some bell beakers using copper. We're so advanced, we're gonna make a society. Hey, look, we figured out how to make a metal that isn't lame, said some other people who made a better civilization. Cows. From where? There. They know how to use iron to kill people. Meanwhile, the trading civilization Phoenicia figured out that there was a lot of iron here. So, the Phoenicians stole Tartessos and started cranking out iron. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. They also introduced some stuff. While they were making a lot of money, they were also making a lot of colonies, one of which was so big it made colonies. Hello, Carthage. Back to the Phoenicians, they're gone. Now Carthage is fighting with the natives to conquer Iberia, and it worked? Oh, wow, it worked. Then the Romans decided to play their favorite game, wage war for centuries and invade the entire Mediterranean. Grrr, said the Celtiberians, who were getting tired of people invading their homeland. Then the Romans deleted them from existence. Bye bye, culture. St. Paul loves Jesus so much he's going on tour to tell everyone about him. Said the Romans being invaded by Vandals and Visigoths. Let's check in on the people now. Oh, they're Christian and they're speaking Spanish. They're a beta version of it. Sweet, said the Swebbies, as they played with the Romans for a hundred years. Oops, someone dropped the Roman Empire and it broke. We live here now, said the Visigoths, eating the whole peninsula for lunch and making Toledo their capital. Then they conquered Cordoba. They never got Swebby. Never mind. Muslims on the Iberian Peninsula. And they brought some language and monuments and stuff. Meanwhile in the north, the Asturians are making a ton of different places. The main religions are getting angrier at each other. It's time for an epic leader to create peace. Music, money, power, art. It's the golden age of Iberia. While everyone was partying, some Christians snuck out and started their own parties. Hey guys, you know what I hate? Muslims? They all said at the same time, Hey, let's reconquer Iberia! I like being cool, said some cool dude conquering Valencia. Wait, Ferdinand, hold on. Why don't we just marry each other so we can conquer the peninsula together, said Isabella. Woo! said the Christians. Hey, Pope, can we ban the Jews? Thanks. Some guy who's not very good at math is about to discover a whole new world trying to find spices. The Pope just drew a line dividing the world into Spain and Portugal. Are you guys still Christian? Hey, Navarre, you've been such a good neighbor, we're gonna take your land. France! Philip moves the capital to the middle. Hey, let's invade Britain. Great idea, Armada. I'm sure that'll work. Napoleon! The Latin American Wars of Independence are happening right now, and Spain barely controls anything. Uh-oh, it's World War I. And after that, Spain has a bloody civil war. And it's so bad that we're never gonna talk about it again. Dictatorship! Franco's here and he's cronies with Hitler, so he installs a far-right government in Spain. Now that he's dead, let's have a democracy. Uh-oh, there's an economic crisis in Spain. Catalonia wants its independence, and Spain is one of the most visited countries in the world. 